Bonjour, it's Marianne. In this video today, we are going to talk about handbags and specifically the size of handbags that you can wear you know, according to your body shape and to your height and size. If you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you. Please click subscribe. Don't forget that little bell in order to receive the notifications. And of course, now you can click applause if you like what um, the topic of the video. Uh, thank you very much. So welcome to this Q&A. We are talking about the scale, the size and shape of handbags relative to your body shape, size and your height. And I think it's a very good question. So thank you very much, Lisa, for asking this question. The thing to, to think about when you think about accessories, and it goes also for, you know, your pieces, the, the clothing that you wear, you know, and the jewelry, um, you know, um, and of course the, the shoes and um, hats, for instance, glasses, as I was showing in a previous video. You know, you have to think of the size of the items, you know, relative to your size, okay? Things have got to be in proportion. For instance, if you are a petite person, okay, you are, you know, you're petite, you're shorter, so imagine if you wore, if you carried, for instance, a big handbag, a big tote bag, or something large like this, okay? This is really large. And it is a tote bag, it's, you know, it's large enough to carry a laptop, for instance. So if you carry something as large as this, and let's not forget it's very heavy as well, <laughs> um, this will look very big, very large compared to your petite size. So I would suggest you look inside in the mirror, you know, look at yourself in the mirror, step a few steps back and see how it looks. And you will see that, you know, in comparison, you know, the, to, to your to your size, because you are petite, the bag will look very large. So the, the bag next to you will, will occupy, you know, a big, a large space. So you will look even uh, smaller because that will overwhelm you, okay? This is something to look at whenever you choose, um, you know, an accessory such as a handbag, for instance, very important. So go for something, if you are petite, for instance, go for something a little smaller, okay? I'm going to show you a smaller bag, for instance. This is a small, smaller bag, okay? So in this one, you could wear, you could carry a tablet, for instance, you know, the iPad, for instance, much smaller. Um, but it is still a very, quite a big bag, okay? But compared to this, you see, it's always good to make comparison for sizes, you know? otherwise it can be very um, arbitrary. But look at the difference. Um, there is a big difference in size. The, you, know, you think about you know, occupying a space, okay? But let's say you are tall, and let's say you are, um, and or let's say you are a plus size, for instance, you will occupy more space, you know, either in height or in width. So you will be able to carry a big handbag like this. This will not look out of proportion, okay? And this will look in proportion with your uh, body height or your body size. At the moment is the uh, fashion, the trend um, of micro bags, you know, the tiny bags. So I'm going to show you a bag that is very small, but it's kind of a, an evening bag. Look at this, it is very small. But these are now, you know, handbags, you know, this is micro bags. So look at the difference now, you know. <laughs> look at the difference, how uh, small it is. Okay, so now if you put this comparison to this one, look, just look at the difference. Okay, so if you are a plus size, you could carry this, but this would, you know, that would look far too small for you. And we have also wanted to show you two different sizes um, of these bags. Okay, so you may have. Maybe this one will be too big. Let's say, you know, if you're petite, that may be um, a bit big, but you can have a smaller size, okay? In clutches. Clutches, you have um, a wide array of um, sizes and style, but look, 
for instance, I wanted to show you also um, another bag, call that a saddle bag. These are very uh, popular in France, and they have been popular for decades. I mean, we've been <laughs> carrying this, this type of handbag for, you know, really for a long time. And, um, you know, in, in black or various shades of brown, you know, these are usually neutral, we carry them. But again, you have it in this size, you can have them a little bit smaller, you can have them a little bit larger. So again, choose the one that's in, in the scale of your, of your body, okay, your height or your size. And, and the shape also of handbags. Well, the shape, you see, um, you have the, the what you call structured um, bags, but that can also be um, due to taste. And you have the soft handbags, like the hobo bags, for instance. I don't have any to show you right now, but they're more, they more rounded, uh, very soft. So, for instance, what, what works well, you know, for instance, if you wear a lot, um, what you call, something that is, if you have, let's say, a rectangle, but very, very rectangle, for instance, you have kind of almost sharp edges, if you like, and a square face, and if you wear an outfit that's very much that does not have round corners, like right? that's not soft, in a way, visually. And then you could do something that is um, very stylish, is wearing something that is opposite to that, okay? So you would wear, in instance, a round handbag to counteract the effect of these, all these square, square um, edges, if you like, you know, of these squares, of these lines, that would counteract it, that would soften that up. But you could also do the opposite. Let's say if you're wearing um, uh, a dress with frills and florals, and if you have uh, curly hair or something like that, you could wear something more structured in order to counteract the effect of you know, all these round edges. Or maybe you could do this if, for instance, you're, if you are um, an eyeglass, so you've got a round shape, then you could wear something structured, again, to, um, to create an opposite, for instance, you know, to... Um, to counteract all these round edges, you know, it's, you don't have to do this, you know, it's something to try. And I think that works very well in uh, many, many cases. But again, I think the main thing, and I think the main thing from your question, Lisa, was the scale, you know, um, according to, you know, in proportion to your body size. And that was a very uh, good question. So thank you very much for watching and uh, please post your questions or your, um, or your comments below this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Au revoir.